ないこの俺が逃げにゃー Alright, so in this one, we are going to be doing our monthly LF tier list with、uh, Jiren arriving just a few days ago. We do have a new LF to、uh, rate at this point, and you know, we do have Vegeta Zenkai next week because it's in the news that he's coming next week. And then we have another monthly LF coming, you know, obviously next month. So, probably we'll revisit this like halfway before the next LF comes with Vegeta Senkai and, you know, kind of refurbish this because obviously God Key will be in a lot better spot. It'll help Future, it'll help Vegeta Clan, and he'll be a very good Senkai for just those teams. And obviously, it'll hire his placement from here where he's quite literally going to be unusable, you know, spoilers, to、um, a higher placement. Honestly, I'm just going to remove C tier because I don't think we need a C and B tier because B tier is probably going to be as bad as C tier, anyways. Um, but how I'm gonna rate these stars,、um, I know people might be like, okay, maybe that's too high or that's too low. It, it's just a, a good basis, I feel like, to rate、uh, normal LFs, not Zenkai's, at 7, and then Zenkai LFs at 9. So, you know, Jiren is gonna be rated at 7. I'm sorry, I know he's new, I know, you know, there's gonna be a lot of discussion. He should be rated 3, 4, 5, 6. 7 is just the good baseline. It's in between 14, it's in between 0. It's the halfway mark, right? Like, that's just how it works. I know people usually get them 6 stars and stop. 7 is the baseline. That's how we're just going to rate it here. And again, Zenkai's are going to be at 9. It's probably going to be on the screen somewhere. So, if you、uh, forget, it's on the screen, anyways. So, to go into this, let us begin. And sorry for that Goku Vegeta、uh, render there. It's ugly, I know, but it is what it is. UI Goku. Now, UI Goku is a meme, so UI Goku is B tier. UI Goku is not that great. You know, if you run on Model Purple, I mean, you could run free. I did a video on him. Free Super Saiyan Blue Purple Goku, the seven, whatever, or not seven days, um, third anniversary, third anniversary, seven free Gokus, but、uh, the Super Saiyan Blue free Goku, you could run him on Model Purple. He'll look better than UI Goku. Like, you run any unit on Model Purple with their 5X Zenkai buff and their Saiyan, it's like, they can look good. UI Goku can look good there. But in a realistic setting where he's actually a core unit, doesn't exist. He isn't a core unit. He's not good. He needs a. I don't know. He needs a plat. He needs maybe even a Zenkai on top of that, or he needs a plat as good as G4s, which I actually think he would warrant because he is hype. Like, UI Goku is a hype character. So, him getting a plat that's like accentuated beyond belief, not like Super Saiyan 4 Goku, who's not like that hype, or Full Pop Race, who's not that hype. UI Goku is quite literally the end of everything that we have anime wise. Like, People are hyped for him. Like, Gogeta 4 is the end of GT. UI Goku is the end of Super right right now, obviously, because everything else is going on in it. But anime wise, he's the end of Super. Like, people want to see that shit, right? They want to see him be good in the game. Hopefully, MUI gets some respect when he comes, but UI Goku is a joke. He's ass. Hopefully, I can revisit this video in a few months and, you know, this will change. But right now, he ain't it. USS could, you know, get better, but hey, here's Jiren. He's purple. Who cares about UI Goku? Goku Vegeta, I still think, are a、uh, Z tier unit.、Uh, I would say, just as an overall, like, you know, basis, Ultra Gogeta is better. Gogeta 4 is better, but we'll get into that when we get to Gogeta 4. And then Goku Vegeta are in the realm of kind of top 5, right?、Uh, they still have that big, you know, color advantage situation where they're purple, and then they could swap over, then they have advantage over different colors, then disadvantage, and they change their advantage to disadvantage. A lot of healing, given that is a little bit, uh, uh, I don't want to say like treading down, but it's it's not as bad as it once was because there weren't, you know, 97 units doing、uh, health restore fucking. Like, there wasn't. Now there's Revival Freeze. And there's quite literally every sparking since. I, I want to say since Bardock, and Bardock came the last month,、um, has been a unit that fucks over health restore in some aspect. Kyle can Goku, Revival Freeze, Bardock himself.、Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Beerus has it as well. Jiren, I'm pretty sure, has something similar to that. If not, he doesn't have that. He goes through cut more, which, you know, they have some cut, so he does, at least fucks them over in that aspect.、Um, a lot of units fuck over Health Restore, which really hurts them. I mean, even the free to play units, 21, 18, like, a lot of units do it. So it does hurt them in that aspect, but I still think because Mono Purple, how good Mono Purple is with how they are、uh, synergizing with Super Vegito and on a、uh, setup with Purple Vegeta, you know, having that, like, amp damage and then being core as that main damage dealer. Does help them. Obviously, they're double supported with Zenkai buffs, right? Because again, Super Joe gives support, Purple Vegeta gives support, but that is their best team, and it's not like Model Purple's like, bad now. It's just that there's better teams that are coming up, right? Again, Model Purple's not bad, it's just that is their only team you would run them for them to be as Z tier as they are. If you run them anywhere else, they are not a Z tier unit, in my opinion. But Model Purple, with it still being a good team, gives them the、uh, staying power, as you could call it, for me. Uh, to say yes, Z tier unit 
and they could stay there for a while, but we will see as Mono Purple, like, it's, you know, changes or alters from more yellows coming out or this or whatever the hell comes, right? We will see. Jiren. Now, Jiren. Uh, obviously, he is new. Mine is only three stars, so I'm trying to rate this off videos I've seen because I quite literally only watched the videos so I could do this video and see experiences of like a 14 star, a 9 star, a 7, 6. I I've seen all these. And from what I've seen, I would say Jiren on an LF tier list is a top 5 unit in the game. Uh, we're going to put him obviously in Z tier because if he's a top 5, he's Z tier. Um, what my issue is with Jiren is... It's not even anything big. It's um, it's kind of minor, honestly. The green card. Now it's a long animation. You know, it's the same thing as UI Goku's. Actually, it's uh normal startup, but it's a long animation. So if you miss it, you're fucked. Jiren doesn't have the defensive prowess I've seen uh, without rush. Without rush, I'm saying this without rush because obviously with rush he gains endurance. Without a rush happening, to kind of live if he fucks that up. Now that's only one situation, right? Uh, another that I find a little bit issue with him is his blue card being a long animation. I'm not really sure why. It doesn't add, like, such a substantial effect. Like, uh, Super Vegito's blue card, it gives you key back, it gives you, uh, special damage afflicted, I believe, and it actually has, like, substantial value to it, and th that's why it's a long animation. Uh, Vegito Blue's blue card, long animation, because it's a lock-in, right? Super Saiyan 4 Goku, purple, long animation, lock-in. There's a reason that they give these animations, like, long or short, because, obviously, if they're too good, giving them a, a uh, Short would be silly. Jiren doesn't have that amazing of a blue card effect. I feel like, let me, I'm actually just going to look it up because I, I'm like 99% sure his blue card effect is like, it, it's just normal. Like it's nothing like, okay, this is the most OP thing in the game. And yet here he is uh, having a long animation, which it, it confuses me because I'm going to click it right here. Hold on. Give me one second. But just to touch on him more, uh, he does again have that endurance. It's better than Bardock's endurance. Uh, his blue card. What is this? Yeah, it deals massive explode damage, plus 30 cents plus 3 damage inflicted, 3 time accounts by activation, additional 7 cent damage inflicted uh, for 3 time accounts if enemies inflicted with faint. Yeah, but the faint would already happen prior to, because you're not going to faint, you can't faint them on the blue card, you faint them on the striker blast after your green card. So it's like, I guess they're fainted by another person on your team, but who else on Jiren's team is fainting? There's not really anyone that's fainting on Jiren's team. I guess leader slot, but like, that's so niche, isn't it? I don't know. I, I just feel like that blue card should not be a long animation. If it did, like, an AoE or something, sure, but, like, it's not even doing that. I don't know. Um, but Jiren, overall, his uh, endurance is better than Barros because, you know, it's not... It, it is locked, but it, when it's locked behind something, it's locked in a circumstance that's actually going to happen more often than not. Like, let's say you're cream pieing with Bardock. Okay, well, you're not going to get that endurance to happen. You're not going to, you know, have someone die. And there might be circumstances where you have to just sack off Bardock at that point. Well, with Jiren, it's like, okay, you could sack off somebody else, but at least Jiren is getting amped. He has endurance now. He has big damage. He has more damage and damage and damn damage. And he's get, just going to do, like, really good damage at that point and just fuck things over. Bardock doesn't really gain anything as much, which is why Bardock is obviously worse than Jiren's, because Jiren's gaining that endurance, yes, but he's gaining extra damage on top of it. He's doing very well. I would say the reason I don't think Jiren is better than Goku Vegeta and some of these others that are going to be in Z tier it's because his teams, uh, yes, I understand Leader Slot exists. People are saying LOE is probably his best team right now because of Rival Frieza. Full Power Frieza to fuck over Endurance. So you have that conditional thing where it's like, okay, if they rush you, I could go to Revival Frieza and let him revive instead of Jiren getting rushed by Full Power Frieza and losing my uh, Jiren because, you know, fuck the Endurance because Full Power Frieza does that. Yes, um, I, I could see why that works out. I could also see and hear that Mono Purple is a very good team for him. Personally, uh, it's kind of wonky, I think, at that aspect. The main point of Mono Purple would be to amp Goku Vegeta. Uh, when you kind of replace somebody, let's say you're replacing Purple Vegeta or Super Vegeta, whoever, because they're both, uh, in, like, a totality, they're both meant to support Goku Vegeta. Like, that's just how they're designed for this aspect of Goku Vegeta being the main damage dealer. You're replacing a support for a damage dealer, which means you're having less support, which means your Goku Vegeta, which is, again, your main premise of the team, can't pop as much. I understand, you know, the endurance is a lot safer of a play than having Super Vegito and all that, but in, again, the whole scheme of Mono Purple is damage. It's like Super Saiyans. It's just more tanky because you have Zenkai buffs and everything. It's like Super Saiyans. You just do damage, 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 which here, and it kind of slows that. So I think LOE is probably one of his better teams right now. Obviously, as USS gets better, as Rival Universe gets better, Powerful Opponent gets better with actual, like, units that, you know, help the fucking tag and not just 
support other tags, um, Jiren will definitely move up. But right now, as a 7-star LF, I do see him in Z tier. By the way, he is boosted, so add that to your account if you're, uh, you know, wondering, you know, how does that help him? It does help him substantially, right? Obviously, if you're boosted, you're going to be a lot better. Look at all these uh, Legends Festival units, how good they were, and slash they are now, but, like, how good they were with boost slash without boost. You could kind of tell the difference. Obviously, Goku Vegeta are a lot less defensive without boost Sword of Hope Trunks. It's not really that he's squishier. It's just that you notice a difference, right? It's just simple as that. Jiren, you're obviously going to notice a difference as time passes. Honestly, he's a unit that does better the worse you're doing. Because, again, you want to get rushed. Like, you want to get rushed. So, if you get rushed, if it's not by someone that's nullifying endurance, which really isn't, you know, it's common, but it's not, like, every unit in the game. It's really just full power freeze right now. Uh, that's doing it, like, unconditionally forever and ever and ever and ever. Obviously, Old Goji does it, but it's conditional to at least some extent. Um... You get rust, and then your Jiren can just pop off against yellows. Like, it's just... He can pop off against yellows, and then pop off ten times harder against normal. Like, neutrality. It's very simple. Jiren is, uh, very good. They did him a lot, uh, nicer than they did Bardock. But, uh, you know, we will see how he ages over time, right? Z tier, though, I do feel like that is true for him. Name it Goku, the first, uh, Zenkai one we're gonna talk about here. I would say, because I always rate Name it Goku on a scale of, uh, in between amazing player and, I mean, ass player, right? So Name of Goku would be an in-between rating. I would say Name of Goku is A tier because he does have some circumstance where, hey, if you're good enough, you can make him look good enough to at least be used. But if you're not good, he's UI Goku level. Like, it's not even really much debate. It's just that you need to be good with him for him to look good. That's not how most units are, honestly, in this game. It's kind of just like, you know, brain dead. Click cards, click cards, click cards. <laughs> At least for the meta units that are, like, really good. Uh, Name it Goku. You have to be good with them. So if you're good with them, he's A tier. If you're not, he's B tier. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. This will change, obviously, in a week. Not even a week. A few days here. B tier. Give him a Zenkai. Hopefully they don't awaken his plot because that plot's already very good. Because it's 8% pure, like, offenses. Double offenses. Like, I know he's going to be more strike-based, but, like, jeez. Like, what else can you give this guy? 24% like, pure offense. That's really fucking good. Uh, LF Piccolo. LF Piccolo was always someone that was just underrated, I feel like. Like, always. And now, obviously, with the circumstance still being, you know, I don't know when Legends is gonna fix this, but with the Reds being kinda dead, I know, you know, Kale gets memed on a lot, uh, for not being the craziest tank, which I disagree with, um, but she's really only just a tank, so it doesn't really affect this too much, but she is at least somewhat usable, just to point out. Uh, Piccolo, again, Red's being kind of dead here, I'm looking at this here, yeah, 8 Vegeta, FSK, like, you know, there's not, <laughs> there's not much competition, you see two purples up there, you kind of see the value, I, I would say Piccolo is probably going to be in a low S tier position, because regen is dead, right, you're not going to run this guy in a leader slot because he's too slow for, you know, comparable to Full Power Frieza, he's too slow comparable to Evolution Blue, he's too slow comparable to, uh, maybe even Gogeta Blue, like, you, if you really want to push it, um, he's just too slow, but doesn't make him inherently bad. It just makes it that his team is too slow. On top of him being too slow, it fucks him over, right? You want to run him on regen so you can get that, uh, uh what is that, big pure that's like 6% pure. Then you want to run him in a circumstance where he has quick allies or has someone that can, like, really accentuate his de defensive prowess and then his offensive prowess as he transforms. You don't have that on regen. Regen is very fragile and very uh killable very quickly and he's probably your best regen unit that you can run right now if you're not like the godliest kid boo player and kid boo i mean he's right there we're gonna talk about it but kid boo he hasn't returned he returned now but like he's returned two banners since his release like you can't really have stars on kid boo at this point and if you do he's still squishy kid boo hi <sighs> kid boo hmm kid boo's definitely lower than piccolo and there's more, more greens. Not really more greens. I would say there's just one big green that's relevant in the meta. Obviously, Gogeta Four. Um, hmm. And he's not really countering anybody out. Yeah, so he's worse than Piccolo for sure. Uh, there's no reds to counter out, and then there's a big green that's running around every fucking match. It feels like. Simple as that. On top of him being squishy. If only he returned more when he was actually new, it would have been great. But <laughs> here he is, uh, barely returning, and you know. It, kind of fucks him over with his uh even star threshold to like consider him even at like a 14 star threshold if i consider him there i'd still probably rate him below piccolo like if piccolo were nine and, Pic and kid boo were 14 like it's just too squishy your team's not good enough you just don't flow 
unfortunately. Right now. Hopefully, that changes in the future when he gets like a plat or something, but he's further from meeting a plat than most units uh, below him down there, right? Uh, UI Goku, please. Future Gohan. Future Gohan is a Z-tier unit. Future Gohan to Jiren. So how I think of it is, Ultra Gogeta is number one unit in the game. Obviously, he's on this list. It's LF list. And then number two is Gogeta 4, right? Hmm. I think Future Gohan, by the way, just mentioned this because I'm going to have to say this in the future of this video anyways, um, the units one left and one right to each other can be swapped. Like, I wouldn't mind the placements of like Piccolo and Kid Buu being swapped. Like, I don't agree with it, but I wouldn't be like, oh my god, that's so incorrect, right? Just so you guys know. So if I put someone somewhere, they could swap one left, one right, it'd still be pretty accurate to what I feel is true. Gohan is his E-tier unit. How is Future better than Mono Purple? That's really what I'm considering here. I'm not. Hmm. Okay. Um. I. I'll say this. The reason for this is because full power frieza if full power frieza weren't running around like i understand jiren he gets fuck over full power frieza but hear me out jiren is flowing on an loe setup in a way future gohan can also flow but with jiren he offers a damage output better than future gohan can i know future gohan gives uh the support but Jiren can do the damage if, like, let's say your full power Frieza dies. Well, then you have Jiren at least back up. Then you have Revival. Then you have a little bit more safe mechanic. If I were to run Future Gohan in, like, an LOE leader slot, I feel like he would just always die first. And if not die first, then he would get fucked over. I don't know. It, it's tough. Jiren to Future Gohan is tough. Because I don't think Future is what's really, like, giving me this contemplation. Because I know LOE is better than Future right now. Like, that's pretty easy to me. It's, it's an anti-meta team, right? Full Power Frieza, he's that anti-meta guy. But, if I'm thinking of LOE, and if I'm leader slotting either... Well, no, I wouldn't leader slot Future Gohan. Because I could... If I really want to run Yellow Yellow Blue, I run the Zenkai LF Frieza. So yeah, Jiren would be better. He's a better filler option, because who is uh, LOE's purple? It's the Zenkai Frieza, right? And Jiren's better for that, then. Because you don't really need the support. Like, it'll work. Like, obviously, the blue card is the support. Everything full part that Zenkai Frieza can give is good. But, like, Jiren just flows better for the endurance into the revival mechanic. And it kind of can just go off if revival Frieza just gets rushed. Okay, boom, now you have endurance. Now you're fucking doing crazy damage with Jiren, right? And future going, you're not going to lead us on LOE. Yeah, I, I would say this is true. Hey, that's a tough one. That's a re I really like how good future gone is with his general support with everything he can do. But... If Full Power Frieza weren't around, I would change this. But Full Power Frieza being everywhere and being so good with the full Endurance Null as someone on a meta top tier team, it makes it so Jiren is actually higher because you're not going to swap Full Power Frieza for Uchi Gohan. You're not. You're not. It's not going to be thin. Huh. Okay. Wow. Did not think I'd say that. Sure. Let's keep going then. Wow. <laughs> I am shocked by my... Uh, rating of that <laughs> alrighty then uh rose you're just below name it goku i mean you're gonna be lower and lower and lower but you know you have a full endurance null but you also have 90 percent damage inflicted peak which yes frieza has that but damage of frieza has like 10 times more utility on top of a better team rose is a replaced option even even not even replaced at that point you could just say purple doesn't need to exist on future on top of he loses damage inflicted as an enemy dies like when there's a last man standing rose is at 70 percent he starts at 90 when there's three then he goes down 10%, down 10% per enemy defeated. It's very stupid design. Uh, very bad design for Rosé there, but he is at least somewhat usable, maybe, if you want to force it, if you have him, like, 14 stars, but the 7 stars, he is not. He's not being used anywhere, really. Sword of Hope Trunks. Now, Sword of Hope Trunks, uh, I kind of do this with Namek Goku when I raid him, and I've started doing this more recently just because it's a different unit, truly. Um, pre-gauge to post-gauge, obviously this is going to be like a combined version when I rate them on the list, but like, just to talk about it, pre-gauge trunks is very underwhelming to me. Post-gauge trunks, you know, I've been using trunks a lot in these videos just because I want to run future, run, you know, all these other units that are 
just uh, good around him. Pose Gage Chunks is a different breed. Now, obviously, again, this list will compile him together as one unit. But with that, I think he's worse than... Uh, honestly? I think he's worse than Future Gohan. But I want to put him S+. Plus. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna put him S plus. I think he's S plus. Yeah. I think because of how lacking his pre gauge is on top of the uh, full power freeze of menace running around, and it's not like you can't factor this in. Like I'm saying it 37 times because you have to factor in. Hey, look, this is a broken, not even a broken unit, a very good unit running around that fucks over two thirds of the team this guy wants to run on. You want to run him on a team with Future Gohan himself? And it's Monster Goku Black, right? That's the team you want to run for Trunks to really be king. Or maybe one Vegeta Zenkai is obviously replaced with Vegeta for his Monster Goku Black, whatever. You have two endurance units. And the whole premise would be, hey, a slow build type of thing where you get your damage high, 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 high. You have Future Gohan kind of taking hits and then he, boom, you have your gauge and then boom, now you're popping off. You can't have that sometimes because you have full power freezer just rushing you and then he's dead. <laughs> it's just how that works. And that's a situation where I think that makes him lower to S+. Plus. Full Power Frieza is really affecting this list. Obviously, him being anti-meta makes sense, but like, holy shit, I did not think he would affect this list this hard. Wow. <laughs> um, Forku. Now, Forku... Forku's so weird. Because he's not even great. He's not... He's okay. Like, he's okay by Cope, but like... I guess, top of A. Uh, again, uh, if you want to change name of Goku and Forku, it doesn't matter. Honestly, A tier and below really doesn't matter. Like, S tier matters sure like barely i would say top of s tier will matter obviously this is the top of it because we're not done but um a tier really doesn't matter like just they're not units you're gonna core as your main units and b below like middle s tier probably the same exact thing like they're just not the greatest units but the units that at least work better than other units right for a coup he needs basically his team to be beat to hell to be you know his peak performance and then with that it's like his peak performance is never that impressive. Maybe his ultimate can do a lot. Like, that's impressive for sure. But, like, everything else about him is so, like, unimpressive. And what you need for that to happen, which, again, getting your allies, getting their ass beat, because he can't take a hit. You're just like, huh? Why am I here? Like, why am, what am I doing? Because I'm useless at that point. That, that's what Forku is. He's just useless until that happens. And then even when he does have that happen, he's useful for, like, maybe two cards. Or two combos. Not two cards. Two combos. It's like, okay, then he dies. It's like, oh, well, shit, here we are. Three coup. Man, this guy's in a bad spot. Uh, three coup, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, hmm. bad spot. <laughs> he, uh, he gets fucked up. Too slow, way too slow. Not even high cut. Good defenses, but no high cut. He gets fucked up. <laughs> Does it really? <sighs> three coup or rosé? First, like, doesn't even matter, but... For, I guess, to try to rate them in order here. Um, General Saiyans, which you would run three coup on. Like, a not Mono Purple, obviously, because Mono Purple is Saiyans. Uh, a General Saiyans team is probably worse than Future. So, I would say, and Mono Purple is definitely better, which Rosé could be on, is definitely better than uh, General Saiyans. So, with that, three coups lower. Sorry, three coup, but you kind of ass. FSK. Huh. Now I've been told I underrate FSK a lot. And maybe I maybe I do. Maybe I do. But I still do not think he's great. Uh, requiring a situation where someone is dead to be your pop-off king. Now I know. People say Bardock. Well Bardock doesn't need that situation to pop off. He just needs that to endurance. Um FSK requiring that situation to pop off and be the best FSK that everyone's scared of is obviously something that hurts him. And I think it just makes him too lacking. Like, he can do good blast damage pre that, right? I'm not going to dispute that for sure. But there's not enough crazy broken yellows that are running around. Yes, Future Gone, yes, Full Power Freeze, but that's only two. Like, you have Ultra Gogeta, you have Sword of Hope Trunks, which is also two. And then you have Bardock, who's also coming around. Then you have Beerus, then you have a lot of blues compared to yellows that are running around. Obviously, the yellows are there, but, like, there's a lot of blues that can also just two-card FSK. It's just that simple, right? Uh, and with that, I feel like he's about here. Again, I'd say Rosé on Mono Purple is probably better than FSK. I don't think that's even 
hard for me to say because mono purple can make any unit look good like rose can actually look decent on mono purple which is a team maybe he's not core on that's why he's an a tier but like it's a team he can flow on that actually does accentuate his abilities zenkai frieza <sighs> another underrated one huh i think zenkai frieza is uh s tier I think he is uh, pretty underused, honestly. I've never really run into him, but he exists, and he should be a unit that's respected. He supplies those blue cards for your AoE on Full Power Frieza. He has, uh, what, 30% to overall uh, ally support that he gives on top of key recovery, which is nice for Full Power Frieza again. And he does, again, spawn those blue cards, which can uh, really help you out. Another uh, special cover change on his main, do a lot more to Saiyans on that ultimate, which really does do a lot of damage, even without like much, most of his buffs going. Because he has some, uh, I think he has some ultimate damage equip on his uh, platinum. Uh, but he can do well. He's nothing crazy, but he is on one of the best teams in the game. And, you know, he can do something that allows his other units to pop off. Which gives his value kind of like, just more value. Just how that works. Majin Vegeta. I always said this. Majin Vegeta is a uh, little bit worse for Aku. Because their uniques are pretty similar. You know, Majin Vegeta is... The thing is with him, it's he wants to get hit for him to buff his, you know, uh, reduce damage to see well, Forku, to get his buffs, it's while he gets hit or his allies. So Forku, that aspect, it's just overall better. Obviously, with Forku getting a plat, he's still better. Uh, Majin Vegeta would probably be, um, I don't really think he would be anywhere higher than uh, Rosé, so he would be, I'm trying to think where you'd run him, where the hell would you even run this guy? For the sheer aspect that there's too many purples, I would say Majin Vegeta's here, uh, no, we'll, 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 here, get, get him there, please, thank you, um, here, you could say above FSK, really, again, left and right, one to another, it's not really a big difference, honestly, like, they don't matter. A tier and lower really don't matter. Revival Gohan. Revival Gohan definitely is a uh, S plus tier unit. I think he's still like top 15 units in the game. You know, overall uh, on this list, probably like a top 10 because it's just LS. Uh, he can do okay, right? There is a uh, situation where he does get fucked over. Well, well. Yeah, okay. Mm, it's only... <sighs> I'm thinking about Beerus, right? That's what I'm thinking about right now when I'm just doing that. Oh, well. Um, Beerus is running around. <laughs> but right now, I'm thinking right now, right? Beerus right now is not on a team that's really going to, like, fuck up Gohan. He's just, just not. Like, he's not being run on God Kigaki. He's in the mud right now. Obviously, that'll change soon. But right now, Rival Gohan's a little bit safe. He definitely will go down as Gaki gets out of the mud. But right now, he's a little bit safe here. Yeah. He doesn't do much in his pre, but I faced one recently, and I mean, you know, I think it was at 7 stars, actually. And he did very well uh, in his post, which obviously is his more damaging, you know, situation. He can do well still. He can still do nuclear damage. He's not really lacking that department. It's kind of his uh, fragility that holds him back in his pre, because he dies in like three cards, right? Yeah. While Beerus is around... Beerus isn't on a core team right now, so that's why Golan can stay there. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll obviously be a little bit lower, but I do think S plus does fit him. Uh, he's still very good, right? Vegito Blue. Vegito Blue. Huh? Vegito Blue is... <laughs> wow, I'm giving Mono Purple a lot of stock if I put Vegito Blue below Rosé. And I might, because Mono Purple, again. <laughs> uh, and, you know... Endurance with Jiren and the others above, which is something Rosé does have. Endurance, no, just like Frieza. Vegito Blue, yeah, I, I think he is here, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's replaced on Future. He's replaced on every team. He's not a core option. And if you're comparing Rosé to Vegito Blue, their best teams. Vegito Blue would be Future's best team. Uh, Future would be Vegito Blue's best team. Then Rosé would be Mono Purple. Mono Purple Rosé is better than Future Vegito Blue. That's it. Ape Vegeta. Did that video on him and man i still don't really respect him that much i think he did fine in that video because it was a literal setup meant for him but you're on a realistic team 
Uh, you ain't running him on Freezer Force, because Freezer Force is in mud right now. Uh... <laughs> I would say Ape is... <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Is Ape worse than FSK? Oh, my... Ape? Yeah, probably, right? Ape is in the mud. He's been in the mud. Ape is probably worse than FSK. Yeah, right? Uh... Yeah, he probably is. Ah, oh, that hurts so much to say. Yeah. Get over there, Ape. Three swap-ins. FSK can at least go neutral and nuclear at some point. Vegeta can't. Seven stars, you're rating him. Nine stars, FSK. Nine star FSK can't even speak. I'm so disheartened. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, Ape. Maybe he'll do better when you get a plat. Who knows? Gogeta 4. <laughs> Ape, I do not expect to have a great plat, by the way, because he's not hype at all. Uh, for most people. Like, I love Ape Vegeta, but, like, the character. Um, it's just, he's not hype for most people. Gogeta 4. Gogeta 4, I already said, is the number one uh, LF in the game. Just too much. Fusions, too good. Uh, even on, I guess, you want to run like a green, green, yellow. Saiyan team, I guess, if you want to do that. Uh, whatever. You can leader slot him anywhere as well. Gogeta 4 does everything he wants to do. Does everything great. Obviously, his plat doing, you know, all the work for him there with all the uh, duff, duff stuff it does give him. <laughs> Makes him uh, the best LF in the game to me. I don't think it's really contested. And I don't think he's too high to where he's like Z plus alone. But I do think he is pretty far ahead of uh, Goku Vegeta, like truly. LF Broly, LF Broly. Um, if I'm thinking about LF Broly on his best situation, where he's still replaced, but he's still best situation, uh, LF Broly is probably in a spot where. Uh... Actually, I'm gonna eight, lower eight Vegeta, not eight Vegeta, Majin Vegeta. Hold on. There's no green. There's no red. Nah, Majin Vegeta should be higher. Yeah, uh, lower. <laughs> I'm so fucking out of it. Um, LF Broly, though, Super Saiyan's best situation. If I think of him there, compared to, let's say, uh... I guess he could be, like, here, then? Because that's, like, his peak situation, but he's still ass. Like, it's just how that works. <laughs> that's his peak, where he's gonna have a lot of Zenkai buffs, and he can really pop off, but, like, he's still replaced, he's still ass. Doesn't really matter, once again, but that's where I put him. Full Power Frieza. I think is an easy Z tier option. Now looking at this, oh, I don't think. Oh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Might change my opinion here on something up there. Eloi is anti-meta, so let me think. Model purple to Eloi. Eloi is probably better. Is Frieza better than Goku Vegeta individually? Hmm. There is no endurance on a mono purple team, and Goku Vegeta could obviously gain advantage to Frieza, but if you were going to run LOE, you could run against mono purple, you could run a yellow, green, blue, or something, yellow, green, purple, whatever. And you have Podza there to kind of hold that off, but we're not talking about Podza, but it does help the situation because he's still on the team. Obviously, a 3v3 game. Um. I, I'm, I'm so hard on contemplating this. I want to say Freeze is better than Goku Vegeta. I do. Because of LOE being so anti-meta. And it quite literally like can fuck over Mono Purple just instantaneously. But Mono Purple can also fuck over LOE instantaneously. That's a really hard one. I think LOE is better. But do I think Freeze is better than Goku Vegeta? That It's like a mixed discussion. Because you have to discuss both the team and the unit. What matters more, the team or the individual unit? On this list, both. Oh, man. I don't know. I think... I... <laughs> I think because of the amplification that Goku Vegeta have on Mono Purple, compared to the uh, basically no amp that Frieza really gets on his uh, best LOE setup against Mono Purple, Frieza is a tad bit worse. I am talking microscope bits worse. Like, 
I don't even know what the fucking terminology is. Barely. Barely. Honestly, it's so close. But the amp that Goku Vegeta get is just too strong. I That's how I feel about it. I think the amp is too strong. That's, that's it. No more, no less. That's it. CMZ. CMZ is probably a, uh, hmm, definitely an A tier option there. Not going to put him in S tier. Not going to be that goofy about it. CMZ. Hmm. I used to think he was the best red in the game. That's LF, right? LF. Um, do I change my opinion on this and put him below FSK? Mm, but FSK doesn't have a team. If FSK had a better team, i put him below. But right now, just because of team's sake, well, all three reds in one spot. <laughs> uh, just because of team's sake, I mean, Future is just a better team than anything Gohan could be on. Just how it is. Uh, Goten, definitely a slept on unit. I don't think he's like anything cracked beyond belief. Cracked, cracked, cracked beyond belief. Um, but he is definitely usable. Uh... <laughs> Where the fuck do you use him, though? <laughs> He's usable. Where the fuck do you use him? Uh, on an ideal team, it would probably be hybrids, and hybrids are in mud. Probably better than Gohan. His burst damage is nice. Gohan could be, like, here. His burst damage compared to the uh, others below him is very nice, and it does more than any of those units can do in, like, a full combo, besides FSK with, like, you know... Uh, dead support of uh, his main ability, right? But his burst damage is nice. I think Broly's burst damage with the ideal Super Saiyan team is better than Goten's, though. Super Vegito, easily a Z-tier unit. Um, Super Vegito is in a spot where I think he is better than uh, Jiren, though. I think so. I think so, personally. Because you look at it here, and it's like, what's really stopping Super Vegito at this point to what's stopping Jiren? Um, you have... The same circumstance where both are getting stopped in, you know, Full Power Frieza, in uh, Future Gohan, in, you know, whatever else that's yellow or whatever else in gen general. But uh, with Super Vegito, at least he's giving something to his allies, while Jiren is just kind of faltering. Like, he's going to die. If Full Power Frieza rushes Super Vegito or Jiren, well, at least they did some cards on Super Vegito to give support. Now Goku Vegeta and now the other units around him are going to get amped on top of Super Vegito's core on more teams than Jiren is. Jiren's just a leader slot thrower right now. He's not really essential, like... Okay, I need to run him on this team every single time. Boom, 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 boom. I have to win with that team because that's the best team. No, he's just a leader slot thrower unit right now. Super Gito has just more cohesiveness with his setups than Jiren could. At, for right now, again, this will change, obviously, but for right now. Gogeta Blue, uh, very, very slow. Uh, very, very, very slow there. I would say Gogeta Blue's in department, kind of like in between... Uh, ape and all of them right because he's not quick but he's not you know down horrendous because of colors um Gogeta blue gaki's in mud so i'd put him because future's so high uh and good because they're still like a top 17 in the game i put him like right there he's probably better than a uh, situation of fsk and ape because you know what they need and how much they require to really get their shit to pop off compared to Gogeta blue is pretty even but the thing is Gogeta blue at least has you know neutrality to most of the meta units while Ape and uh, Future Gohan are kind of, not Future Gohan, uh, FSK are lacking in at least the neutrality aspect, then they can just die even while they try to pop off, they can still just die, right? Obviously, FSK like struggles with that less, but still a struggle to happen nonetheless. Cell? Oh, cell, 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 Cell. I think Cell is uh, right here. I think Cell is is in an okay spot. Android's definitely getting some love does help him, right? With the Green 21, with the uh, Zenkai 21, with all that. So definitely gets some love there, but Android's just not top tier. You know, wait till Superhero drops and he will be top tier probably, uh, unless they replace him and give us another purple. It's an LF from Superhero or, you know, whatever the fuck happens from that. But um, Cell's in a good spot. I think he's okay right now. I think he's very uh, overhated, if anything, and uh, should be respect it a little bit more truly i think he's okay uh why piccolo's above is simply because colors again you scroll up there and you see s plus and z tier there's two strong yellows that that's fucking cell like it just does cell is not some godly tank you know maybe with gauge he gets better and better and better obviously but it's not like he's gonna take some hits at least piccolo he has one unit that's up there that's fucking him over it's not the entire you know 
um, list that's fucking him over, it's one unit. Obviously, Cell only has two, but Cell's still fragile, so it's really, like, everyone, right? Evolution Blue. Evolution Blue, obviously, is higher than Gogeta Blue. Um, Evolution Blue is probably higher than Forku. So I would say Evolution Blue is, uh, scraping Bottom S. I think he's scraping it. Uh, honestly, I could... Eh, fuck it. Don't put that. Fuck it. Because I think, um, USS is, like, an actual, like okay like it's really not great but it's an okay spot compared to region region's just that down in the fucking mud that they're really fucked so i'm thinking of uh let's say jiren evolution blue which are both blast based and then you run just whatever third unit that actually can flow decently because you have the endurance obviously with jiren then that can just keep going and going and going and going evolution blue obviously a ramp up unit he takes a little bit too long to go but i do think he is still at least usable and you know actually runnable in the meta right he's just a little bit slow just how that works Beerus, you're in the fucking mud. Whatever, you're B tier, who cares? Bardock, my homie. Bardock is uh, S plus, I'd say. Um, yeah, I put him there. I put him below Rival Gohan because, again, if Beerus had a team, I would probably swap them because, you know, Bardock is just neutral to everything that's above him besides Goku, Vegeta, Vegeta, but like, that's just one thing. Um, well, FSK is disadvantage and just very fragile. Bardock is at least somewhat tankier. Um, Bardock is definitely very uh, disliked, I would say. He does have some uh, wonkiness with his conditional stuff, with his endurance and the defensive neutrality, but besides that, it is only 28 counts. I know people might say, 28 counts sustained with the character is very long. Well, if you lead the character, you take a combo, you do a combo, that's about, you know, 15 to 20 counts, and then you come back in, you swap in, you do a new combo, boom, 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 you're done with 28 counts. You just did two combos. Happy days, you're good. Like, I think it's very easy to get his... Uh, Peak damage, I think it's very overhated uh, to see his peak damage be performed. And people saying that Evolution Blue is better and Forku is better, I think, are silly because Evolution Blue has to re-ramp up. Forku has to uh, have a dead team, basically. I think it's silly. Gogeta Blue has to, like, not re-ramp up, but he has to ramp up slowly. And Bardock just has to float. <laughs> I think it's very simple, right? Bardock definitely uh, a good unit, in my opinion, obviously. Huh. Just going over this here before we wrap up. Gogeta 4, yes. Goku Vegeta, yes. Full Power Freezer, yes. Super Vegeto, yes. Jiren, yes. Gohan, yes. Hmm. Sword of Hope Trunks, yes. Bravo Gohan, yes. Bardock, yes. Zenkai Frieza, yes. Ella Piccolo. Hmm. I think Ella Piccolo should be, uh... I think Evolution Blue should be higher. Okay. I'm going to do this. I think this. No, 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 not that. This. I think this makes more sense. Can I? Thank you. I think this makes more sense. Evolution Blue still doesn't have a great team, but he's still very good. Um, Cell there, yes, because androids are strike-based, so factor that in. He's obviously thriving right now, at least for an androids team. Regen down bad, so DK or DKP. <laughs> Piccolo and Kid Buu are lower. A tier, again, it doesn't matter A tier, but if you want to, you know, consider it. Forku, yes, I would say he's best A tier there. Now Goku second up. Rose is mono purple. Brulik is uh, mono blue, I guess, or Super Saiyans, whatever. Goten does good burst damage. Vegeta blue is okay on future, but replace CMZ. Uh, quite simply, is just on a better team than FSK and Ape right now. And at least, you know, I guess the three second neutral helps him, but like, he's just on a better team right now. Gogeta blue, uh, slow. FSK, red, and bad team. A Vegeta, red, and bad team, and well, slow. Um, three coup, slow, 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 on top of mediocre team. Majin Vegeta, doesn't really fit anywhere. And then Beerus, whatever. Yoi Goku, whatever. Vegeta, probably Z tier after Zenkai. We will see. Lunar, I think, of my LF tier list, and I'll see you guys in the next one.